everyone. My name is Mandeep, and we are today discussing about the documentary, The Plastic Planet. This is my team, Hina and Sahil. We watched this documentary, and it was really interesting. Uh, it highlighted the key factor how plastic is affecting our life. Can we fully can we live our life without fully dependent on plastic? How plastic is uh, dangerous to our uh, our mind, uh, the animals, and the whole planet. Uh, the author, uh, the uh, the person in the uh, documentary uh, highlighted the key factors which are showing that from the childhood how we are dependent on the plastic and in future how our planet is converted into whole plastic. That's why it's uh, called as <coughs> the plastic planet. So I would like to start with the introduction how this plastic came into evolution. Uh, we know that from the childhood uh, our toys and everything are made up of plastic because it's a cheap and then uh, further uh, furthermore uh, as a past passage of the time this plastic we use in the daily life uh, goes uh, furthermore uh, like dependent on uh, the machines and it goes to the streets and oceans which affect our uh, life and evolution uh, of uh, of the growth of uh, of a person now next will be explained by hina uh, so i'll discuss about one point like uh, the impact of plastic on human health and uh, as per the documentary like it is very uh, realistic and practical in the today's world like plastic has uh, affected the human health very deeply because the plastic bottles uh, like water bottles and the bottles for the babies they contain the plastic and the chemicals like bisphenol and the polyvinyl uh, chloride which are very toxic and when they are mixed up with the hot water and the hot milk so they release the bisphenol uh, components which uh, gets into the body and uh, via via the bloodstream they uh, affect the human health and uh, and these chemicals are also the carcinogenic and cause the cancers and uh, lots of babies and the uh, humans that uh, got died from uh, this uh, chemical and uh, it also called the brain hemorrhage, hemorrhages and the miscarriages in the women and because it is uh, affecting the reproductive system mainly so it is causing the impotent impotence in the men so it has very deep effect on the human health and the next effect will be discussed by the sahil we are uh, right by hina uh, that the effects of the plastic on the human life uh, but the uh, effect of plastic uh, uh, i will try to explain the effects on the marine life too because we all know <laughs> all the countries have industries and they are dumping the waste of the industry in, into the canals rivers and everything so which ultimately goes into the stomach of fish fish and or mar marine life and it results in the uh, uh, result in the ex extinction of some species such as fishes and all and as discussed in the video they uh, took some samples from the middle of the sea and tested that ultimately shows us how how we are like de uh, destroying the marine life because the water has a lot of plastic in it uh, which ultimately affects the marine life so i would suggest that we should shouldn't dump that that waste into canals or rivers uh, um, Apart from that, we should uh, try to come up with some solutions so that we can utilize the waste that comes out of the industry, such as now uh, technology has been uh, so advanced that they have came up with some solutions such as using the plastic waste for some road of construction of roads and also also for some uh, like uh, like the creation of filament of 3D printers. So rather than throwing into the uh, rivers and seas, we can use them for some mean, meaningful purpose. So I would say that uh, we should take action now until it gets too late. I saw in the documentary that uh, uh, the person went to one of the industry and he asked <coughs> that the manager to show him how plastic was created, but she refused that how they are making this plastic. This was the reason that the industries are uh, industries are not uh, are afraid of uh, like afraid of giving their uh, formulas uh, to the people and so that people uh, get to know uh, what are the effects of this plastic on their daily health so 
obviously they are using some toxic substances which are harmful <coughs> to the health harmful to the environment because it it's it's really hard to dump plastic uh, if it uh, get into the waste and next thing is that every day a person throws some amount of plastic to the environment to the road or somewhere else and uh, in every year around 60 kg of plastic every person throw uh, into the waste uh, in the europe and in in rivers uh, around the industries it happens that industries uh, created the plastic they develop it and then the waste of the plastic get dumped into the rivers nearby these rivers are feeding to the animals these rivers are the important source of our environment and then further this plastic gets collected by the people and try to get it to into renewable sources but then uh, also the small particles of this plastic which uh, goes to the oceans which goes to the chicks it won't get uh, you know to the renewable so these are all the waste of plastic which is polluting our environment and it is well said that if we are uh, we can't do anything about this plastic our whole planet will get converted into the plastic planet because uh, we know that plastic is not only the one source which is polluting our environment and to the mankind there are other sources also uh, so not only to the human kind then it it extended to the fossil fuels uh, because we get the resources from the earth and these fossil fuels get uh, affected from the plastic we have to install some filters into oceans we have to install some filters into into the earth so that we can the, uh, get the pure form of petroleum and other resources yeah i do agree with you simran like you all uh, highlighted the <coughs> advantage of uh, dumping <laughs> in the sea level but i i think like if we take action individually then it going to make a difference for example like rather than throwing bottles uh, by the sea shores or something somewhere else we can collect the bottles and give to the some industry we can use to make some plastic fuel which can be very useful <coughs> for the industry as well as uh, we can uh, like put less pressure on the fossil fuels and even like there are some alternatives for the plastic like there are uh, the compost compostable uh, plastics which can be used rather than the proper plastic but the industries are not using that because they don't have that in uh, such a demand to like uh, to fulfill the people's demand uh, and the second thing they believe that if they are using the other source they are solving the one problem but they are creating the another one at the same time so they are not using the alternatives it was well had, uh, highlighted in the documentary that uh, that uh, that person tried to uh, clean the seashore in in japan but uh, it took him two days to clean that whole seashore and there are around 600 uh, 6000 seashore in the whole japan and if they try to clean one uh, seashore one year then it will take i think around 60 years to clean the whole japan and then uh, i think if society is not well educated they uh, gonna throw the plastic on the seashore again and again and it will come out no resolution uh, he took help from some volunteers to clean that seashore uh, that was from some institution but if uh more volunteers uh, are not able to join him then it would be difficult for the people to uh, clean the seashore i think according to my opinion the best option is to guide the society because we are the only one who are polluting the environment animals are on the other side uh, have no involvement in polluting the in uh, polluting the planet with the plastic we created the plastic and we are using it we are throwing it we are not we have less <coughs> Uh, expertise in the uh, recreation of the plastic or uh, uh, i mean throwing it into the right place so that's why we we have to take initiative to uh, to use the plastic in a better way because we are using it from our daily life since morning to evening uh, if we scratch anything uh, even a small particle it has a plastic attached if we scratch a bottle it has plastic attached on it if we uh, we are using a water bottle for drinking of water that's also plastic so the food uh, wrapped in uh, food is also wrapped in plastic and yeah uh, it's it, it's our daily routine that we are using these substances but on the other hand we are uh, using this plastic uh, to uh, to keep our body healthy let's say we are drinking a water we are drinking a juice and 
uh, in the plastic we have a wrap uh, a burger or something like that we are eating it with the plastic and it uh, we are not aware that how much it, it's going to our body but on the other hand some particles are going to our uh, body which uh, affects the uh, growth of the nature as shown in uh, the documentary so it affects our growth of brain it affects our development of uh, body it makes the mind uh, less mature 